Hey yeah, guys, me Tom with six from after the next part of my uh, Torox campaign. Last time we uh, attacked Nordland, not Nordland. Uh, what is this place called? We attacked Ostland. In this episode, we're going to be moving closer to the coast so we can make the crossing to Nagaroth and begin the cleansing of Nagaroth from the elves that dwell there now. Right now, we're just building up growth. Waiting for the moment to strike. The, uh... Marauders all! Lots of, uh... Chaos Raiders have come across the Sea of Claws. Seeing the destruction at, uh, Norden. They've come to... The voices. Claim riches, I guess. Not like they will hopefully keep the uh, forces of Ostland occupied. Yeah, we're just building up growth for the Minotaur building. Oh yeah, and we're also going to have to take the revenge Empire. against Hotchland. Because they killed a friendly beastman tribe, so they gotta die. So yeah, we're just going to be building up growth and then heading to the coast. That's going to be the plan for today. Hopefully claim many skulls in the process. Also, my mouse broke exactly two seconds after I finished recording yesterday. So, uh, and then the, the scroll part broke, so I now I have a new mouse. It's uh, Logitech, it's pretty nice. The lights are cool. So, uh, let's get vicious shadows so we can take out these armies. I will not obey. Easily. Eat them. Okay. Okay. Fight this one. Chaos gods have deemed that I should kill them for the battle. So I'm going to be trying to get more Razor Gore and more, uh, more Minotaurs. So, uh, old, um, I don't remember what this guy's name is, too, but he took a beating in that battle against the forces. But old, uh, old Torox is still ready to go. I, I think I misspelled Torox in the, uh, title of yesterday's episode. I think so. Probably. It wouldn't surprise me if I did. Also, I wish I could get more manticores, and I think they're really cool, but fortunately, uh, I can't actually recruit them. Uh, it was just one of my starting units, which is very sad. Very sad. No. And I didn't, I didn't realize it was one card. Uh, where are we? Here we go. I have to get used that the banners are like that, even though they're like red. That is the one a weird part of uh, the mod. Overall, but other than that, it's pretty much all good. Glorious Torox, towering above other beasts, even other Minotaurs. We got our uh, bull or our big our hogs. Hog battalions. Bungo. No, 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 doors. Uh. Oh, maybe we're gonna be gores. They're gonna be with the vanguard. Uh, minute doors. It's us with the best fighters in the herd. So, uh, take out these man things. What? No, you idiots. War <laughs> herd. Read this slaughter in the name of the Chaos Gods. 
Very good. Two kind of forces they got. That was their claw back from two sides. The coordinated maneuver. Okay, a charge just like missed, and you're also terrible. And then the rest of the war heard. We need more reinforcements on this flank. Get fire on those infantry. Frenzy. Glorious chaos. Them boys, archers, cowards. We need more. We need more uh, warriors up here dealing with the core of their men. Take him out! Our, our poor Razor Doors are taking a beating. They are a path! But our Mentor is doing pretty well over here. Fortified by the Minotaurs and the Razor Door. Glorious victory. Perfectly executed. Yeah, I don't know why the color scheme, or not, not, not even the color scheme, the banner has changed so it's like a green color. Even though the actual color of the tribe has not changed, because I know it does change the color scheme of some uh, factions, with also changing, changing the banner somewhat. But. Seems like an odd choice, but this is a, this is a very minor herd. Beast in general, don't get a lot of love for beasts. I I will always play them. And the haters who say that they're bad, we're gonna prove them all wrong. I know we players of the beast. I know we're enlightened. I like those fools. <laughs> True children of chaos. All right, let's uh, let's get ten. Can't linger here. We need to get moving. Hopefully, we will get to Nagaroth by part four. Oh, I guess I can get some gores while I'm here. Might as well, right? Just pop out of the settlement. Grab some gores. And centigores. Why the heck not? We could probably actually do a fair rate of recruitment. Get minus 15 for the entire army. We're gonna need it. Right. I'll be get I'll be specking him into his uh, primal rage soon enough, don't worry. Okay. 
So I think we should chill here for a bit, get some of those centigores, and then we can just keep moving and head to the coast. There's Norska. Fully confederated by turn three. If you're a landlocked empire state, far from the coast, why would you declare war on a Norskin faction? It just seems like an odd, endless herd. You mean that group? <laughs> oh, not possible. We gotta get the Minotaurs. I think I might get rid of those harpies because they're not really useful. You know. I mean, they're just harpies. Really. As you saw in that battle, they can't really do that much. It's nothing that a Minotaur or something, you know? Polish. Polish. Right. How are we doing growth wise? Should we be able to get that in a few turns? The spell rituals for that final path of replenishment? I think my cat is a monster coming from his cat. Can't have him eat one of my minis while I'm trying to record. I'm sorry, kitty. It's okay, it's gonna be okay. Alright. Let's get moving. You can start. Do you want Throg? Hell, look, if you'd mentioned corn, I would have been totally cool with it. But you mentioned, but you didn't. You mentioned Siege, so I refuse. <laughs> Bestie of Rage, kill him. How oh, very unfortunate you for you actually. Uh, yeah, we can probably end. How unfortunate you for you, Mr. Empire Man. Okay, let's just massacre them. That's the otter. That's fine. No one's gonna be coming after us anyway. And we're like in the same, pretty much the same condition as we were before. Keep moving. Okay, next turn, we can get the fire pit, get the minotaurs. Bam. And I don't think we can get another doom bowl. I mean, another uh, gore bowl. Which is sad, because gore bowls are cool. <laughs> Oh, no, What's this guy's name? Egg. I'm not gonna. Gore Claw. Alright, Gore Claw it is. Rip. Huh? Okay, that's uh. Sure is interesting. I wonder if the Great Hochland Empire is gonna be a thing. This gives a lot of growth and it's really helpful in the early game. No! But not much replenishment is very, uh. Very bad, right? It's worth it. Maybe 
the grass roll around comes up and it's ours. I really hope to do it against uh, that calf, whatever his face is. Stay focused. These I are not the not. owls I'm looking for. We ought to go help the broken chains. Uh, They're in a bad situation. Real or a bad situation. Oh, oh hey, Toddy. I hear you don't like Beastmen. You can first join me. Get four units and five units of Beast uh, Minotaurs. That should be good to start. <laughs> Right. Oh, ruins. I wonder who uh, raised it. And which, more importantly, which god was, was it raised to? We'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure Franz is pissed. Uh, poor Franz. I know what it's like in this situation. No, I can't sympathize with Franz. He's, he's a chaos god. Poor Franz is just like the Empire. The Emperor. Oh, I was... I thought it was going to be like a uh, more skin patch and raised it. Oh, alright. Is this the best? I think it is, right? Sorry, Toddy. Didn't want to do it, but you wanted to do it so long. Absolutely not. Too bad. My army isn't in great shape. We've taken a lot of damage so far, but I think we might, we can pull this off. We just rip and tear. Should be able to become triumphant. Blood creed, slaughterer's call. Very nice. These, these midden landers, the midden wolves. Guess what? Man-eating goat beats wolves 10 out of 10 times. Right, so we should just like rip apart his back flanks and just kill everything, really. Now these are beastmen. We're ready for battle. Cloven ones! Alright, I'm gonna have to vanguard you guys. It's like a skirmish force. Encore! I think skirmishing should be illegalized, but if I have to, I'm gonna do it in this situation. I mean, minotaurs with shield, that just seems like a weird, they're a giant minotaur thing. You really want to have a shield? It's just science. It's just science. Pass. Dark beast. Glorious minotaurs. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, 
Oh, um, the Minion Wolves have uh, found us. Back! No, you idiot. They're not doing anything. Fire at them! Rip and tear. Minotaurs forward. Break through.
Hopefully if it, we can lose any units. So I can't really replace them. Rip. That oh. sacrifice will not be in vain. Oh. How long till we're fully replenished? Do that. Alright. Is just replenish? Rebuild. Ah, uh, this is interesting. They now control it. Okay. Hopefully be getting some corruption in this area, so we can uh, get to live in here for a bit. <laughs> so, what's, what's this? A bray herd? <laughs> I believe in you. Go forth. Actually, should I just take it with me to Nagaroth? <laughs> I might as well. Alright. I've used the, uh... How long is this gonna take? God, two turns, alright. So, I guess we're just gonna take the gray herd with us to Nagaroth. <laughs> this, once again, makes perfect logical sense. If you don't think so, you're just stupid, really. All I have to say. <laughs> Magla, my god. One funny, just like keep the empire distracted so I can get away. Where's that? Where's our way? Okay. You know, let's just get another Minotaur unit. We don't got time. We gotta move. Alright. Uh, let's get that for the more Minotaur. Oh, weapon strength. Right. Let's get to Nagaroth. Or, or a thing to just I know I said we were gonna get the sword cane. I'll do that uh, later in the campaign. And we ele inevitably turn the crusade to Nagaroth. Into a crusade to Elf. Or to despoil the realm of the high elves, even though it is the dark elves who I really hate the most out of all elves. Well, that is saying something. Right, let's get going. Roll out. This amount of Minotaurs, no one can stop us. You know, people who could probably stop us. That's that would be a real problem. Doom ball. Here we go. Right. Let's hope the uh, brave herd can keep up. How- you don't know how much I want to just wipe out that little conclave, but just Reduce it to ash. Destroy their pathetic forest. Kill everyone there. That would bring me no greater joy. For this episode, we gotta get to that girl. Speaking of which, how long will we for? we have- Okay, we might be able to get like halfway there before I have to call it. Because I have- Two halves of stuff I gotta do later. As, as much as it pains me to say, because I don't, I don't get it. This is fine. 
Hey, we encountered Carol and told her to send an army after me. Oh yeah, that is a fish- that's lore, how they get around the sea. Just a boat attached to a big whale. Makes perfect sense. It almost makes more sense if you don't think about it. Isn't that the orc symbol? I'm pretty sure that's what the orc thing is. I might be wrong. I didn't play much of orcs before the uh, before the update. Well, they're trailing behind a bit. We'll probably lose them. Not that I'm just getting killed on the way by despawn. Because for some reason they didn't sign up to go on a long sea voyage in which half of them will probably die. I don't know why, it sounds like a lot of fun, but like, you know, these guys are just kind of crazy. Oh, it's the man, guys. The sea knows my fate. How's it going? Man, it really is a toss-up where he goes. This time he's in Bretonia. When I played Aleph, he was over there. All the other times I had to deal with the bastard. All right. It's almost like he's designed to go where the player goes. Huh. No, they I would never do that. <laughs> Really starts in the far north, most of the Nagaroth, bruh. I remember, I was playing Aranessa, it was one of my first campaigns I did on the channel. He just, he just went to Sartosa. I, I was doing, it was a pretty fun campaign, although the freaking High Elves killed, <laughs> killed Noctilus before I could. Gotta be honest, there's a little, you know, there. A little disappointing, but... Alright. Alright. Okay. Prepare to die. Although, I suspect that Tretch may be controlling this by the time I get here. So it is... Oh, oh. Rats. Elves. You know, vermin and elves, there, there isn't that much of a difference if you think about it. Does this always happen? Is this like program where they just declare war on you, even if like Yeah that's snake. This must be. Oh it's the stuff snatches. That's a very interesting army for a group of forest goblins to have. CA fix your game. CA really has to fix its game. Oh That's um Lord of the Druki. Ooh, okay, let's, let's scram. I want to fight elves, but not like that kind of elves. They might get my brain hurt. It's, you know, brain dead. Alright. I wonder what they've been eating. Very, it's a very important question. <laughs> I love food. It's a very, very important question. One we're not going to ask. Shit, are you ever asking? No, alright. Well, you know what? That's the reason I brought two doors. Alright. Mooch is an emergency. Mooch is a fuck. Get that. I'm not going to be recruiting anything. Oh, yeah. Moveland. Oh, nice. It's still controlled by disgusting elf creatures. Perfect. I've arrived just in time. But unfortunately, guys, that is going to have to be it for this episode. Tomorrow, we'll continue the slaughter and begin the extermination of the elf scum and justice. Alright, guys, see you next time. Thanks for watching.